Junie B, first grader. Toothless Wonder, written by Barbara Park. Chapter Nine, Miracles. That night, Mother put me in bed. Daddy was in Baby Ollie's room. He was trying to rock that cranky boy to sleep. We heard Ollie fussing. I bet you're glad I'm not that bad, right, Mother? I said. That baby is a pain in our necks, right? Mother laughed. Oh, believe me, Junie B, you were no peach when you were teething either. She said. She tickled me a little bit. Speaking of teeth, tonight's the big night, right? She said. Tonight's the night you're finally leaving your tooth for the fairy. I covered my face with my sheet. Don't remind me, I said. Mother laughed again. Don't be silly. This is going to be fun. She handed me my tooth to put under my pillow. I handed it right back to her. You do it, mother. You put it under my pillow, okay? I said, and put it close to the edge, please, cause I don't want the fairy trampling around down there. Mother put it close to the edge. She let me check it. After that, she leaned down and she gave me a big hug. I'm very proud of you, Junie B. She said. I'm proud that you got over all that silly nonsense Polly Allen Puffer told you. Thank you, I said. I am proud of me too. After that, Mother kissed me good night, and she turned out my light. I quick turned it on again. Yeah, only I think I will sleep with the light on tonight, I said. You know. Just in case I have to come running out of my room in the middle of the night because there's a witch in here. Mother did a sigh. Whatever, she said. After that, she gave me another hug, and she closed my door. I jumped up and opened it again. Yeah, only I think I will sleep with the door open tonight. I said. You know, just in case I start screaming my head off in the middle of the night because there's a witch in here. Mother said, "I give up." I give up means the same as whatever, I believe. After that, she kissed me one more time, and she left my room. The next morning, I woke up very relieved, because guess what? I made it through the night. That's what. I hugged myself, real happy. Then all of a sudden, I remembered about the fairy, and my heart started to pound and pound, 'cause maybe there was money under my pillow right that very minute. I took a big breath. Then, very careful. I reached under there, and I felt all around. And bingo, my fingers touched something. I grabbed hold of it and pulled it out. Then I sat up straight in bed. And I laughed and laughed, 'cause good news, huh? Cash. I zoomed to the kitchen and skipped around the table. Cash, cash! I got cash! I hollered, real thrilled. Who wants to see it, huh? Who wants to see my cash? Please raise your hands. I looked all around the kitchen. Then I stopped skipping. Because no one was actually in there. I zoomed back down the hall. Mother, Daddy, where are you? Where are you? The fairy left me money. Mother stuck her head out of Ollie's room. We're in here, honey, she called. I skipped into Ollie's room and showed them my money. Look, people! I got cash! I got cash! I said. 
Only, I don't know how much it adds up to, but it is a bundle, I bet. Daddy's eyes got big and wide at my money. Whoa, the Tooth Fairy must have been feeling very generous last night, he said. I know it, I said. I love that fairy, Daddy. She left me money, and she didn't even pinch my cheeks. Ollie was sitting in his crib. He smiled at the bars at me. I looked surprised at him. What's wrong with Ollie, Mother? I asked. Why is he smiling? Is he sick or something? Mother laughed. No, silly, she said. When I came in this morning, he was playing in his crib, happy as can be. I scratched my head. Really? Ollie's happy? I said. That's odd. Daddy picked him up. Well, actually, Ollie had a little surprise for us this morning, too, he said. He sat down with Ollie on the floor. Then, very gentle, he took my finger, and he rubbed it against Ollie's gums. Hey, I said, it's rigidy. Daddy grinned. It sure is, he said. That's Ollie's first tooth, Junie B. My whole mouth came open at that good news. A tooth? I said. Ollie got a tooth? I felt the ridges some more. Wowie, wow, wow. Last night was a good tooth night for both of us, I said. Yes, it was, said Daddy. What a neat coincidence, huh? Ollie got his first tooth on the very same night that the fairy came to get yours. Mother ruffled my hair. It's almost like Ollie was waiting for the tooth fairy to come too, Junie B. Just like you. I smiled at the thought of that. Then, all of a sudden, I stood real still. And goosebumps came on my arms. Wait a minute, I said real soft. What did you just say, Mother? Mother looked at me kind of strange. I said it's almost like Ollie was waiting for the Tooth Fairy to come too. Just then, I did a loud gasp. That's it, I said. That's it, that's it. I springed way high in the air. Then I twirled all around, and I hugged Mother real tight. Ollie did wait for the fairy, I said. He waited for the fairy just like me. Mother and Daddy raised their eyebrows very curious. I skipped all around them in a circle. Don't you get it? I said. The fairy recycled. She recycled my baby tooth. And she gave it to Ollie. My feet started to dance. It's perfect, I said. It's just like Dan Dan the soda can. The fairy took my tooth. And she made it all shiny and new. And then she gave it to my very own baby brother. I quick bent down and felt Ollie's gum again. Yes, sirry, Bob. That's my tooth, all right. I would know that tooth anywhere, I said. Daddy scratched his head. Well, I'll be, he said. Mother laughed. What a great idea. It is, Mother, I said. It is a great idea. Plus, also, it is a big relief. Because the Tooth Fairy doesn't just throw teeth in the garbage. Now I know that for sure. I looked at my money again. It's just like Miss Chris told us, I said real squealy. Recycling makes sense. Get it, Mother? Get it, Daddy? Sense sounds like sense. Huh, that's a good one, right? After that, I zoomed to my room to get dressed for school. 
I can't wait to tell the children, I hollered. Room one is going to love this news. I put on my favorite pants and sweater. Then I quick ran back to Ollie, and I felt his tooth some more. He smiled at me again. I smiled back at him. Cause what do you know? I think I might like that boy after all.